What is going on guys? I welcome you to ifectioner.com video tutorials and this is tutorial number 3 in the HTML5 and CSS3 tutorial series by ifectioner.com that is making a full functional website for beginners and in this section in this tutorial we will be making all the sections in our template.html file right now we have just uh, uh, made a uh, uh, html file and we have added a code for our header right now our page looks like this which is nothing like our template so we would uh, now be using uh, the nav tag for the navigations and uh, under the header tag I add another tag nav for the navigation we just use nav not the full navigation word and under the nav tag uh, we want to have three links and for that I create an unordered list the bulleted list and uh, I would add three list items I am using uh, the tab just to format it neatly and uh, I add three list items li and I will just copy these uh, two tags so we do not have to write it again and again and then list items we want to have the first list item as home the second as tutorials and the third list item as contact us and uh, right now if we save our page and run it in chrome I choose run command and launch in chrome then I see that now I have got three bulleted points and three list items home tutorials and contact us I would like to make the hyperlinks uh, of these pages or of these uh, this text so I would go in my template.html file and to make a hyperlink we use a anchor tag a, a href hyper reference and you give the link the source of your page over here right now because I do not have any pages I just use the hash symbol and it would when the user click on this link it would take uh, him to the same page so I just close that tag always remember to close your tags in HTML5 so I just copy and paste the hyper reference tag three times and close it three times I save my page and I can go to the source file or run command and then choose launch in Chrome and now look we have got three links and when I click on these links they just reload the template.html file and uh, now we see that uh, we have got uh, our header section our navigation section and then we want to have a left hand side bar for that we would be using the a side tag and to uh, I just put the side tag for the side, uh, side bar, left hand side bar and if you would like to uh, add uh, the side bar on the right hand side you can do that also in the same manner as I will be showing you so on the side toolbar uh, side bar we have got an add and a what's new news section so I use a heading tag
and add and I close that heading tag h1 tag heading 1 tag and to uh, under that tag we have got a picture uh, add so I would be giving it by mg src equals to and yeah I, I have noted one thing sorry guys and girls that the source of the image tag of our logo should be logo.jpg because I have made two files a logo.jpg and add.jpg file so I just give uh, add.jpg file and if I would like to give the width and height of my file I can give that but right now uh, I, I just want the default size to be there so I just use the alt tag and our add here and write our head here and I can just uh, close this tag and sorry I did not close the other tag so I would close it so yeah now we have got an image that would appear underneath our heading our head and then we want uh, another heading h1 news I close that tag and our news here add and paragraph close it and then I save it and click on run launch in Chrome and check what's uh, what is uh, going on in our template dot HTML five so right now I have put uh, two uh, files that is logo.htm and then add.htm in my uh, uh, in in my directory and I would be uploading it on my website ifecna.com so you can just download all the source files and the pictures file and you would be able to do the same thing without making any pictures so now we have got ifecna.com logo our ad and our news section and what we would like to do is that now we would like to add our uh, section tag and the article tag in our web page to make our articles and we would be doing it in our next tutorial I see you in our next tutorial until then take care bye bye